Hey, as a beginner, there's three things you absolutely must know prior to getting in the industry or right when you get in, in, into the insurance industry. Okay, the three things, I'm gonna roll through each one and I'm telling you, I had success and made $117,361.13 at 20 while in college and playing basketball because I knew these things. I at least learned them pretty quick and I actually adopted them and I put them into place. And the first one is you need to be able to set a target, uh, a goal, a target. Most successful people, I would say all successful people really, they don't go into something and have success without actually premeditated, pre-planned success. So I want to ask you, as you as you jump into this venture, what, what's your actual what, what what what's your target? What's your goal? What do you want to do? And I would say it needs to be a little more predefined than hey, I just want to make a hundred thousand dollars my first year, or, or I'm making forty eight thousand dollars working down the street. I'd love to make fifty, right? Let's have some specifics about that. And, and and what most people don't realize is when I was an agent, yes, my goal was to make a hundred k, right? And I went into a recruiting meeting, and and the manager had us all stand up, and then said, okay, take, take a look around. Then he had everybody but one person sit down. And then he said, maybe one of you will make it. In that moment, I actually set a goal, a target. I wrote it down and I said, I will earn $100,000 my first year in the insurance business. Not I may or I hope or I will, uh, you know, maybe probably think I will. No, I will earn $100,000 my first year in the insurance business. I dated it, I signed it, and I put it up in the wall in my cubicle. And every day I went out to make that a reality from cold calling and cold door knocking, the hardest way to do it. But, the, but the, I had success because I set a target for myself. So I wanna challenge you as you're taking notes, as we're deciding for you right now what you wanna do, I wanna encourage you to set a target. I'm telling you, this will pay off for you. Number one, set a target. If you need to pause and write it down as we work through this workbook style today, uh, then do that because I want you to have a target before we continue. Okay, so now we've got a target, excellent. Second, know your numbers. I'm big on knowing your numbers. Now, what does that mean? Well, for me, $100,000, it was $2,000 a week. It was $400 per business day. How do I make $400 today, tomorrow, and the next day? But, I, but to go even further, I knew that I needed, to, I, I made about four to $500 of commission per sale, me personally. I don't know what it is for you, but this was me a decade ago. And because of that, I needed five sales a week. 2,000 bucks a week divided by the amount of commission you make per sale, bam, now I needed five sales. So I followed the set, sit, sell model. I call it the triple S system. Set 15 appointments to hopefully sit with 10 and actually sit and give presentations to 10 people. Now it could be over the phone either way, right? And then, actually, and, and then hope to sell five of the 10 from the 15 that was set. So set 15 appointments, sit with 10 appointments, ask 10 to buy, and, and actually close five sales. Now that could be four appointments, and then one's a, a couple where you get two sales, right? Again, I knew that when I actually sat with 10, I was gonna sell my five every week, or at least pretty freaking close. So for me, it was all about knowing my numbers because I, but then I, but the, I wanted to break it down. Right? And so I want you to break your numbers down so that you know what you need to do. And I used to write down, I will earn $200,000 this week. Every week on Sunday nights, I would prep. I would write things down. I would take this thing seriously. And some of you are gonna hear this and it's gonna like, you know, you're not going to write it down and take it seriously. I'm telling you, for a target to happen, for a goal to happen, for those numbers that you set and that you now know of what you need to do every single week, because you're gonna break it down into in a weekly system, because you can have one good week here, one good week here, one good week here. You can string together a phenomenal year one week at a time. Because a year, big goal, semi-annual, quarter, I was like, ah, oh, it's three months, a month, okay, that's cool. But week, if I can win the week this week, I can win the week next week. If I can win the week next week, I can win the whole stinking year, okay? So as you're starting to do that, you need to know your numbers. It's super important that you actually know those. Number three for tips is you need to have prospecting methods and you need to be prepared to go out and prospect, to see people. The biggest question for you right now is how are you going to get in front of people? And yes, I cold called and cold door knocked, which is the hardest way to go. Not easy, I didn't even use leads. Now, there are other systems that you can use, and I've even got a course on this in our over at training.codyaskins.com on insurance agent prospecting 101. You need to figure out, it's a two or three hour course, 
but you need to figure out what are your prospecting methods going to be because you don't want to go into each week like it's a roller coaster or a wave and, but you, or, and, and, and you don't know what to do this week. It needs to be specific. You need to walk into the week knowing I am going to do this this week. Here's what I'm gonna do, here's the success I'm gonna have, and here's how I'm gonna get it done. The more organized and prepared you can be, the better, right? Not so prepared that you're like, hey, I'm not gonna do anything until I know everything, because you gotta take action now, you gotta take some action, you gotta be active, you gotta put forth the activity, you gotta put in a lot of activity to hopefully see future results, right? But what are those prospecting methods for you? I always recommend that the insurance agents have three prospecting methods in their first year. And this is gonna change over time and it's never gonna be perfect or specific or whatever. But one is you need to be focused on your specifically your warm market, um, friends, family, et cetera. Um, if you love them, care about them and believe in what you're selling, you'll do this anyway, right? Some of you are gonna be like, dude, I'm turning the video off. I ain't talking to my friends about insurance. Well, then you don't actually believe in what you're selling yet. That's okay, maybe someday, okay? Uh, after warm market, which I, which I made tens of thousands of dollars off of my very first year at warm market, then you need some type of um, way that you're getting leads every week. For me, uh, maybe you're buying leads from a vendor, maybe you're working with you know, Secure Agent Marketing and we're generating leads at cost for you, one of my companies, I don't know. Um, but for me, it was, I had call nights and every Monday night I would invite college kids over to the uh, office. I would pay them $10 per appointment for the first two appointments, $30, I'm sorry, $20 for the third appointment and every appointment after. I'd give them a chair, cubicle, phone, script, um, data list. I would call with them. I'd walk around. I'd get everybody jacked up and excited. I'd train them. Um, I'd buy them all pizza. I would pass around gift cards as, as they went throughout the night. I would give an extra $100 or uh, maybe an extra, extra $20, um, I think it was, to the top person of the night that set the most of appointments. And we'd have you know me and, and th two, three, four, five, six other people all making calls to book me appointments cold calling about final expense life insurance. And we would cold call and we'd book appointments and I'd walk out of there a lot of times with some, some, sometimes only six, eight, 10 appointments, but always at least that. And then some weeks I'd walk out of there with 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 appointments. My whole week would be booked. That was my way of having a, a consistent lead flow. I created the lead flow myself, which is, which is uh, that's an option, that's okay. Maybe it's direct mail leads, maybe it's digital leads. You know, I, I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's telemarketing leads. I don't know what it is for you, but you need a consistent lead flow. And why do you need a consistent lead flow? Because you need people to talk to every week. And if you're gonna set 15 appointments every single week, you gotta have some stuff circulating, okay? So that's the second prospecting method that I always recommend. The third is you need some type of third, acti third activity driver that I'm gonna go door knock, or I'm gonna work a networking group or I'm gonna go ask for referrals, or I'm gonna go do this. For me, the activity, the fill-in, when I didn't know what to do, because that's gonna happen as a new insurance agent, it's a big tip, it's when it happens, please do something, I promise you it'll pay off. When you're, when, when you're warm market, you, you know, you, you're, you're, you're not working warm market, or you're not working leads, or, or, or it's a Friday and you are worked through your warm market for the week, your hit list on that, because you created a top 100, 200, whatever, and you're hitting it up, um, or maybe it's the, uh, uh, as far as the leads, call night for me, maybe I would book appointments on Monday night for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I don't have anything on Friday. I would actually go and I'd go drive to like a senior housing facility or some area and I would door knock for 50 doors, 60 doors, 80 doors, sometimes 125 in a day. That was my way of filling the activity. And some of you are like, dude, there's no way in heck I'm doing that. I'm telling you, it is extremely crucial and important and beneficial for you to fill it with activity and door knocking works for a lot of people. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be one of yours, but you need three different prospecting methods so that you can hit your weekly numbers because you, when you know your numbers, you start hitting your numbers, you have a better chance of actually hitting that long-term goal that you have laid out for yourself. So these are the three tips that you must know as you get into the insurance industry. Hey, if you love this and you're like, man, I want, it, I want 2021 to be better than 2020 was, I got seven steps that you need to apply right away. Check out the video, they're in there. See you. If you wanna make $221,520 next year in 2021, I'm gonna show you the seven steps that you need to master.